Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel today. And today on Cordini Motorsports, we're gonna be jumping behind the wheel of the Argo XF500 to test out the fire suppression equipment that I need. So without further ado, let's uh, jump behind the wheel and do a show and tell and show you how I built it. And we'll see how well it runs. Well guys, here it is. The 2023 Argo XF500 UTV. It's made by Argo. Well, it's actually made by Kimco, but it's uh, manufactured for Argo. It's a Magnum lineup and it's their entry level UTV. This is their LE platform, which is their basic platform and just comes with your basic wheels, no power steering and just, uh, you know, your basics in UTV. It's been running really good. It does have a small engine. It's a 443cc uh, cubic inch. I think it's around 33 horsepower. Or 443cc yeah, engine. There it is in all its glory. Runs really, really well. Haven't been really out using it as much as I'd like to, but uh, we're going to uh, fix that all uh, in the next few weeks when I'm taking this out on the trail, seeing how well it performs. But today what we're going to do is just going to keep a quick little test on the fire suppression unit last couple of videos that i showed you guys um, demonstrated the equipment that i'm putting together which included the uh, fire hose the pump and the tank so in this episode all i want to do is make sure that it was working order uh, to see its performance and to see if there's any leaks or kinks and kind of doing a test run from there i plan on taking it out to the great outdoors take it to down some trails, see how the extra weight and the sloshing in the tanks affect the drive and come up with some driving strategies if you are using this vehicle off-road. So it is designed with a specific purpose, utility task vehicle. This utility task vehicle is all about fire suppression, keeping the ground uh, free of debris and any type of uh, ignition source that may catch it on fire. So anyway guys, I'm gonna set up the tripod. We're gonna fill this up with just regular water, dump some fuel in it, check the oil, prime the pump, and uh, see how it all works. I'm kind of excited. Uh, again, this design right now is just to transport. It's a stationary build, which means that I don't have an operator driving and one that's operating the fire hose while it's being in motion. That would take a little bit more uh, modifications and due to the fact that we've got the exhaust going to be hitting the side of the bed which will probably damage it melt it or cause some issues and we may not have enough uh, hose clearance uh, with this setup here so this is just basically a setup for transportation when you are using it you take the pump out you put it on the ground and you use it as a stationary build so it will take some more modifications to make it a mobile unit for firefighting and for water systems again this is just a preliminary check to see if it all runs and runs well so anyway guys let's uh let's see how this thing fires up so guys we got it hooked up i don't want to have it sitting too much but we will show you how good this thing works So it shoots about 60 feet and it does a really good job. So as you can tell, it's not bad. Again, you got about two minutes with this one. And it can clean the Got a couple sprays so you can do a fan spray and you could do again clean the driveway do whatever you want with it now again this thing is loaded so I'm going to show you a little bit more Pretty fast. 
Well guys, that was it basically. She uh, works really well, the pump is strong. Again, uh, Martin and I, or Martin suggested a pressure regulator here because we don't want pump pressure buildup. And if you're about 50, 60 feet away, and you have to stop for whatever reason and turn off the water source that could, you know, prolong or lessen the length, uh, light, l lessen the life of the pump. So we're going to address that issue. And of course, um, there's been no real leaks or whatever. So it works really well. Uh, took about two minutes to empty the tank. Again, you're getting about a 50 foot hose and again, another 50, 60 feet of range down the, uh, for the extenuating and you could do different types of sprays so again a couple a little bit of a safety that i'm going to be doing is make sure the hose is rolled out before you turn the pump on this way you don't uh, damage the hose and build up an unnecessary pressure and make sure it's on good ground and uh, just inspect your work as it goes so there's definitely some work in progress uh, the next step is going to be identifying different types of water tanks i'm going to be identifying getting a a water pressure regulator and hooking that system up and then improving it as I go along. I can also even get really fancy and do a shut off of the motor from low water uh, inside the tank so you're not sucking in air, saves you from priming for the next time. But anyway, those are just little quality controls that will be implemented in this very promptly. So anyway, that's kind of where we're set up with it. Very happy that it works, very effective. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get it out on the trails and actually try it uh, when, it's, uh, when it's in its natural habitat. Well guys, there you go. The fire suppression equipped Argo XF500. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be fooling around with a little bit of load, weight, balance, and transportation. This episode was just to get the machine working to make sure that it does work, which it works flawlessly. I'm very impressed with the water pressure, with the way it fires up, the ease of operation and everything. So other than making some minor adjustments, we're pretty well there. And again, we'll get out in the field and test it out so guys if you have any comments or questions in the comment box feel free to post them below and uh, we'll get them answered and uh, watch out in the next week or two where we take out the xf 500 and put her through its paces but anyway guys thanks for coming along on this journey and we will catch you on the next episode of coradetti motorsports you guys see this for now